Today's show is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Hi, I'm David Picciuto, and today I'm going to show you how I made these wood rings out of veneer. Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, where I show you how to make all kinds of things from the simple to the complex, with a focus on design and originality. Together, let's celebrate the spirit of building, creativity, and inspiration. Making these wood rings is pretty simple and can be done without many tools. Basically, we're just going to take some veneer, boil it in water, and make it more pliable. Then we'll coil the veneer onto itself, binding it with CA glue. You'll find these rings are much stronger than just drilling a hole into wood and cutting the outside shape. That's because we won't have any weak points with end grain. There will be many layers with straight grain, laminated with glue, which will make them very strong and durable. I'll also show you how I added these accent lines with contrasting veneers between three coils. Let's get started. First, you'll need to start off with thin veneer with very straight grain. Wavy grain will chip and break during the bending process. I'm using a scrap board with a veneer saw to cut some thin strips. This could also be done with a utility or an X-Acto knife. If you don't have access to veneer, you can easily cut your own on the table saw. Now, you'll need to boil the veneer in water for 60 minutes. This will make it extremely pliable. While still wet, you'll then want to coil the strips onto itself. You don't need to coil it to the size of the rings just yet. We want to coil it just enough to where it doesn't break and then wrap it with masking tape to keep it in that position. After you wrap it in masking tape, allow it to dry completely in this position. Once dry, it'll retain the shape and allow for it to be coiled even tighter. For the next few steps, you'll need something the circumference of your ring finger. Here I'm using a large drill bit and wrapping it with masking tape to the exact size. On the end of the dried veneer, sand the tip down to a fine point. This will allow a seamless transition for the first layer. Now, it's just a matter of wrapping the veneer around our size blank and adding CA glue between the layers. The metal ruler seen here is used to hold the remainder of the piece out of the way. Work just a small section at a time, winding it as tight as you can and holding it in place until the glue sets. For this style of ring, you'll need to repeat the process two more times. Now you'll want to sand the outside edges flat. For the contrasting accent lines, cut out two pieces of veneer to the size of the ring. We'll then just glue the flat veneers down by sandwiching all the pieces together, being sure to align the coiled pieces as best you can. Now, you can puncture through with a drill bit and sand the inside. A Dremel tool works great for this, but you can also use a rat tail file. 
If you're lucky enough to have a lathe, you can speed up the sanding process. If not, then sanding by hand will work just fine. I'll then sand down the edges, some final sanding on the inside, and add my finish. For mine, I'm using one coat of boiled linseed oil and eight to 10 coats of spray polyurethane, waiting one day between each coat for proper curing. Pardon the interruption, but I need to tell you about my new Casper mattress. I've been using my Casper mattress for about six weeks and love it. Casper has created an outrageously comfortable mattress that you can try in your home totally risk-free for 100 days. If you don't like it, you'll get a full refund. You can't offer a refund policy like that unless you truly believe in your product. I could not be happier with my Casper mattress. Your mattress is shipped directly to you for free in a compact box. The mattress expands as you remove the packaging, which is pretty satisfying if you ask me. Use the link in the description below and use the code WOOD to save $50 off your Casper mattress. By layering soft, breathable latex over supportive memory foam, Casper created a sleep surface that appeals to everyone. I now get a great night of sleep and ready to go when I wake up in the morning. I'd like to thank Casper for making my videos possible. To recap what we just did, gather up some straight grain veneer, if you don't have veneer, make your own. Cut it into thin strips and boil it for 60 minutes. While still wet, coil the veneer and wrap it in masking tape and allow it to dry. Sand the tip to a fine point. Using something the exact size of your ring finger, coil the veneer around it and glue the layers. Work in small sections at a time. Add on some contrasting accent pieces, then sand and finish. The two rings you see here are our wedding rings. Every year my wife and I retire the previous year's rings and make new ones. The challenge for me is to come up with a new design every year. In a future video, I'll make a stand to hold all the retired rings. Be sure to visit my website for more details, photos, and plans of these rings as well as tons of other projects. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If this is your first time here, please subscribe as I put out all kinds of tutorial videos on woodworking, crafts, and art. And if you want to help support the show, you can do so by becoming a Patreon member at the link below. $1 a month is all I ask and that gets you advanced viewings as well as Patreon member only videos. Thanks for watching. Stay passionate and make something.